we um, found another one of our ex-production hens um, died overnight and uh, she just fell off a perch full crop no sign of any injury nothing just like she just had a heart sack or something I don't know it was, it, it was her time and, and I feel really bad because we've had them just under two years um, be two years in two months and uh, you know some people keep their X production X battery hens alive for like four, six, eight years, and that's just amazing. And I feel so bad that mine have only had like half their life living wild. But I think the thing about here is they're not mollycoddled. They are completely free range. If they don't want to go in the um, hen shed at night they don't they don't go in we don't put them in if they're not in we try to in that and i just i gave up some hens just don't want to stay in there some of them prefer the more free range life and that's you know that that's what ours get and you know they've got all the farmland they've got the the muck piles from the animals they've got um the anything and everything you know they they're not they don't have to scavenge for food they have um ad lib layers pellets they have corn as well um they get things like the uh, the mix the sheep um mix when they have grains and stuff and the goat mix they get those so you know they, they get a varied diet and i just keep thinking what what am i doing wrong and and then I just, I remember that those who keep them alive, like twice the time I have after being released, sorry, I'm watching the lambs over there. Um, you know, th those people, they'll have like four, six, 10, 12 chickens and they're in a, a smaller coop, whereas ours are in a barn. Um, I mean, the hen barn, it's something like 18 foot. Um, it can house 200 hens and um, lambs playing with the water. You know, it, it can house 200 hens quite easily and we've just got like 30 in there, between 24 and 30 any one time maximum. Um, so I don't know, part of me thinks maybe I should restrict them. Maybe they're free ranging too much. Maybe they're when the weather's bad, I don't keep them in unless the weather is really bad. And I'm talking like full on storms. I just, we let them out and they, they come and go as they please. Um, you know, they have water in there. They have ad lib food in there, ad lib water. But they drink a lot from the stream, which is just up by their, um, by their barn anyway. And they can just hide in any barn they like. They lay where they like. You know, they, they they have a completely insane life, totally different to what they had when they were production hens. Part of me feels sad that you know that they're, they're not living two years past that, and I'm thinking, what am I doing wrong? I just don't know. Maybe I should molly coddle them. Maybe I shouldn't let them out on days like yesterday and today where it's it's windy and it's rainy. It, it's not really cold. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Of course, the one we lost one last week, um, but she uh, was at the vets and she didn't. She had anaesthetic and uh, she didn't wake up from surgery. So. Yeah, it's difficult. It is difficult. It's not getting easier. I'm questioning myself more and more. And I don't know. Are they living too free range of life? Should I rein them in? You know, should I keep them in a smaller space? Should I not let them roost where they like? I just don't know.